Hi, so if you're watching this video, chances are you're probably just getting started with Visual Studio 2012 and Windows Metro Development. One of the important things with Windows Metro Development is being able to develop an app that goes in the Windows Store. And in the Windows Store, we have the nice advantage of being able to market to multiple countries without much hassle. One of the things that you're going to have to do in your applications as you get into Windows Store application development is translate them into different languages. This opens up an entirely new market for you that allows you to reach more customers and make more money. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new multi-language app toolkit in order to go ahead and add multiple languages to your application without much work on your part. To start, we need to start a new project. So I'm going to go ahead and click New Project. And I'm just going to select a blank app, or you could select a grid app or anything else. But in this case, we'll select a blank app. Now one thing that you're going to have to do is use your name for your app without spaces. This is a bug in the Multilingual Toolkit that does not allow spaces inside of the application name. It won't give you an error for this, it just won't work. So we'll go ahead and create this. OK. And now we're going to click OK. And in just a moment, we'll have a blank project up on our screen. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and access my main page.xaml. And here we're going to put some content on the designer that's going to allow us to translate those fields. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my toolbox, and I'm just going to go to my common controls here, and I want to grab a text block, and we'll just put this on the screen here, and we could go up here and give it a name, and we could also give it some text. All right. Let's also make that font a little bit bigger so that we can see it. Go in here, and we'll just give it a nice big size there. Okay, pretty basic, right? Let's also put a button on here so we can show how to translate a button. So we'll just grab a button, we'll pop it right here, and we'll go ahead and give this button name, and we will select some text. All right. So there we go, we have a couple basic elements on our form, nothing too exciting. So the first thing I need to do is I need to add a new folder to my project. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go add folder. And in this case I'm going to call it en-us. Now the reason I'm calling it en-us is because that's the language that I have defined in my application manifest here as my default language. So you always want to create the folder with the default language name. You can also put this in a subfolder if you wish. Now I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go ahead and add a new item. And here I'm going to choose a resource file. And we could just call it resources, that's fine. Okay, so now I have a resource file. And I created two, two controls on my XAML over here. So I have my text message and my button test. And I'm going to go back into my resource file. And I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of resources here. Okay. Now one thing you're going to notice is that I'm putting the control name and then the property name. And I prefer to use control names because it allows me to easier identify where this text is going. You can just use regular names, but you will need to put the dot property name in order for it to be picked up properly. Okay, so let's go back over here to our main page. Now I need to tie these into the new resource file that I created. So I'm just going to go down here to my XAML. And I'm going to go x colon uid equals text message. And basically I'm just going to put in the control name here. But that's going to refer back to the first part of our name 
on our resource file. So text message here, if I just called it message or hello or whatever I wanted to call it, I would put that in my UID here. That's going to tie it back to my form. Okay, so here we have, here's some text we wish to translate and we have an accept button. We've got our resource file. This is some new text I'd like to use. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and just make sure that everything came up correctly. Okay, so this is telling me that I had an error, that my button, which I gave a UX ID to, does not uh, have a property defined called control in my resource file. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. I go back over here, and it looks like I have control. But what I should have had was content. So I'm going to go ahead and stop my app, and I'll go ahead and change this, because I put it in incorrectly. There we go. Now we can run again. Okay, and here we see this is some new text I'd like to use and our accept button. Let's go ahead and close that down. And there we go. Now we've created our first translation file. Now, the benefit of the multilingual app toolkit is that we don't have to create resource files and folders for each of the different languages. So what I need to do is I need to install the application toolkit. So I can go up to Google and search multilingual app toolkit and I'm going to come up with this page. I just simply download it and install. Once I've done that, I can go back into my project and here under tools I have Enable Multilingual App Toolkit. Let's go ahead and click on that. You're going to see now that I have a new folder added to my project called Multilingual Resources. I also have a file called Pseudo Language. Let's go ahead and go to our project and we can add translation languages. Here I can select a list of languages that are available to me. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Spanish. We'll click on Spanish. I can also expand these out and see the various different versions of Spanish. Here I've got an icon that indicates the Microsoft Translator is available to automatically translate this for me. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now I need to rebuild my app, so I'm going to right click and rebuild. There we go, build all succeeded. Okay, so now I should be able to double click on this Spanish file. And up will come my multilingual editor. Here I can see the resources that I defined in my resources file. And I can either type in a translation, or a really cool feature is I can come up here, select translate, and translate all. There we go, now we have our translations. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now, in order to test this, the last thing I need to do is change my language preference. To do this, you would go to Control Panel, you'll select Clock Language and Region, and then select the language. If you have an added Spanish, go ahead and add it, but make sure you move it up to the top of your list. You'll also need to make sure you have the English QPS PLOC installed. This is described on the multilingual app toolkit install page. So you'll have instructions there on how to do that. Let's go ahead and close that and we can start. And here you can see I've now translated my application and my Spanish is showing up for my text and my button. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to ask. I'm here to help.